so about two weeks ago i posted a video explaining why western media can never truly understand why armies are very protective devoted to bts and if you want to watch that video click the link here if not the summary is that it's just cultural in many asians not everybody but in many asian countries asians are are, are as part of our culture we consider our gifts talents and skills as a gift to us for a purpose it wasn't given to us just because we're special we it was given to us because it is supposed to serve a, a bigger purpose and so we try to cultivate that and grow that and use that for the greater good to help other people to make the world better and etc and so that happens whenever we get something or with our skills and with our talents as opposed to western artists they are mostly uh, very self-centered so when they have so for their art when they create something it's always about their thoughts their their um you know their music their words and so and it's their art and you you just have the privilege of be participating in their or or consuming their art but that's not the case in in asia so the more bts receives the more they give back right so the more support they get they feel like they need to give back they give back and their fans feel the same way the more bts give gives them then the more they need to give back to bts and so it it, it spirals into something greater so that's the the, the gist but there's uh, there's an interesting comment and that is how bts could possibly be cultivating obsessive fan culture because of the amount of content that they put out contents that are not necessarily related to music so let's take for example i'll read one comment it seems to me that the j-pop and k-pop industries are also much more invested in cultivating parasocial relationship between celebrities and fans there are a lot of content completely unrelated to actual music you don't see that a lot in west much yes artists appear on talk shows to promote a new album but that's about it there isn't this massive amount of variety shows photo shoots behind the scenes stuff live streams and social media posts it is true in west you don't really see them a lot except for a press junket and stuff like that as opposed to uh, Korea and Japan they appear in variety shows they have their own variety shows they have social media photo shoots they talk a lot about their fashion sense and their relationship with each other but all of these things so it is true so is the if the question is are is the contents that they're creating all of these contents that are that they are creating that's not necessarily related to music is it cultivating obsessive fan culture I'll cut to the chase the answer is yes but the story is much much more bigger than that it is um more than anything a marketing tool for them so for bts let's remember that when big hit started it was a very very small company they were on the brink of bankruptcy and they didn't have the money to provide bts with mainstream marketing support that other bands like bbsk or big bang had in the beginning all they had was social media and so they used it because it's the only free marketing tool that they used now like any message any marketer will tell you that you of course you will be as clear as you can be and you will be as streamlined as possible when you deliver your message you will identify your, your audience what are their needs and blah 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 and you'll try as much as possible to be exact because you don't want to be misinterpreted but any marketer will also tell you that that's just the nature of the beast you put something out there you put yourself out there you are open to be interpreted different ways by different people i can put out red as like the color red and people some people are going to say that's blood other will say it's love others will say it's ferrari <laughs> it's just how things are different people have different disposition influences values that also dictate to them how they will interpret a certain message and so bts although they started doing social media stuff as a tool to to market themselves they have now evolved they don't need to do that for marketing because they have all the money in the world to do marketing they're doing it just because they want to stay in touch with their fans they want to give back as much as possible 
but it will always be interpreted different ways with different people some people will like it some people will not like it some people will turn into obsessive fans and some will turn into obsessive haters that's just the nature of the beast but i remember but they're not alone in that even other celebrities not just boy bands they are all they always they always have haters they have supporters some people think they're great some people think they they're not great so that's just how it is one prime example will be john lennon at the height of fame of of the beatles john lennon said we're more popular than jesus christ john lennon and paul mccartney and the rest of the beatles already explained what he's and if you actually listen to the entire interview you will realize that he was actually criticizing it was actually a, an ex, it was a, an expression of disgust towards people who support them more than they support the word of god of god of jesus christ but it has been interpreted differently so some some of their fans became haters and they were they were declared arrogant and all of those stuff i'm not going to talk about that further because that's not the point of that video this video but the point is that one sentence interpreted so many different ways <sighs> now bts uh, so, as i've said so bts the social media marketing use has since evolved with the amount of message but but so it has evolved as a communication tool and they try to do it as much as possible especially now during the pandemic but the, with the amount of message that they're trying to reach, it is very, very much inedible. inevitable that some of them will not take it well. Some of them will take it the wrong way. Um, the other thing is that Beatles actually created crazy amount of content, even with the limited platforms that they had. Of course, you can't compare it apples to apples because when Beatles existed, social media was not in existence yet but even with the limited amount of so of of marketing platforms that they they had they created crazy amount of contents they had movies tv shows interviews and you know all those things and they also developed some crazy fans right and it, it's the same thing for 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 other celebrities like um other boy bands even like nkotv um and sync they also have their tv shows specials they made appearances they have magazines they have pocket books they have books and i remember some of my friends reading through them buying all of this contents and so it may not necessarily be social media but they also created a lot of contents that were not create that were not were not directly related to music but also it needs to be recognized that bts also provide a lot of content with substance it may not be directly related to their music but it is related to their art and their values as people some of that um, provide some answers and some insights in some of the things that people are going through and they help other people get through their difficult times so if we're going to be strict about it however we can actually say that anything that's not music is not related to music right so for example music videos a song will exist even if there's no music videos and so all the music videos that are being done by bts and all other artists out there is just a marketing tool take out the music video part there's still a song given that it gives now um drives me to one point Lil Nas X for example I love him I think he's one of the most creative artists out there right now but he does create a lot of controversial contents when it comes to music videos and his performances do you do we think do you think that if you take out that video part and those controversial performance part will he cultivate the same amount of attention purely based on his music if SM and YG don't package their artists as porcelain perfect artists, will they cultivate the same amount of attention? BTS don't create controversial videos. They create videos with a narrative. They are not packaged as porcelain perfect idols. In fact, early on, they, create, they say a lot of things, very, very mind-boggling things. Things that you would not normally hear from an idol. They show things that really are not are far beyond being perfect. 
but they so they don't resort to those marketing tactics they 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 choose a path that sort of is consistent when it comes to their music videos i mean and when it comes to their image they choose a path that's still more consistent with their music do you also have to realize that there if you actually listen to their and actually um consume a lot of the contents that they put out that are not related to music they're not personal many of the most personal that they ever reveal are when they mention some of their family members but not everybody mentions their not everyone in bts mentions their family members but they're actually one of the most private out there they have protected they're fiercely protective of their fan of their 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 private lives to this day many of the some of the parents of of the bts members are still not seen by the media they choose to not see their 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 family members they don't talk a lot about their friendship outside of of theirs of they well they do talk some about their friendship with other with other artists or just friends outside of bts but not a whole lot so this amount of content if you put them together maybe 85 percent or 90 percent are not personal it's selfies them together you know it's it's very very impersonal so but even with that even with the, with that fact there's still a lot of obsessive fans that think that they are one of the most that they reveal a lot of intimate things about themselves which only proves that it really depends on the person that's consuming the content that bts can't do much about it so in closing i think let's just uh, the more important in question for us to answer is will the music of bts and the the art of bts transcend their marketing and only time will tell we don't know how much of an impact they will really create will if 10 20 30 years down the road we forget all about this extras run bts and uh, their selfies and all of that and their music and the message remain then we know that it's that it's substance that put them there more than anything else but unfortunately right now they're in the eye of the storm everything is so chaotic the the water is so muddy there's all these activities going on you can't see clearly but once everything settles and the water becomes clear then you'll be able to see through okay that that that's art and that's that's their music that's sticking and we know Beatles have have years after been able to prove that it is their music that has carried them through through all the despite all the controversies all this obsessive fans all of those fans are gone their music remains whether BTS will be able to do that only time will tell second is for fans like us because I'm not really interested in their personal lives look I, I if if Suga posts a picture of Holly. I will <laughs> look at that picture for 15 minutes. If they put out a content about how, you know, the, the 95 liners, the best friends, uh, Suga, sorry, Jimin and V, they post a video of the two of them doing something funny or hugging or something, I will watch that. Those are fun to watch, but it will never be a priority over their music. I am not interested in who they date. I'm not I'm not interested I'm probably interested in seeing their parents just because I want to see the genetics but I'm not obsessed about it I mean if they don't want to show it that's then they don't want to show it <laughs> I don't want to talk about their favorite perfume or I, I, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm too old for that maybe so but for but then there are other fans I know my some of my nieces are very much into BTS they consume their content buy their songs listen to their songs watch their their shows but they're very much in touch with the fact that this is a celebrity that they're supporting and they have absolutely no interest in 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 thinking that they are that, that, that their relationship with the band is more than that so for fans like us i think it's just more important to be consistent you know support the music talk about the music and the art more than anything else and i hope maybe eventually it will become louder than those who are just obsessed 
Um, yeah, that's it.